Well, hi, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Eek Acres. In this video, I am going to be reviewing a product that I think everyone should have on hand, at least one of these in every household with what's coming here in the near future over this election. And this is for the EBL 500 watt power generator. And this is how it comes in the box, just like this. As you guys can see, and it's got this carrying handle on here. So we're going to open up this box and see what contents are all inside, and we're going to go over this. Okay, you guys, we're going to open up this box, and we are going to see what's inside. And this is exactly how it arrives. And in here, we've got the owner's manual that tells you everything that you need to know about this device. It has all the information in here, and it also has it in other languages. As you can see there, that's what it looks like when it arrives. It's got this little box right here that has the uh, power cord and that in it. This is the adapter right here that plugs into the unit. And then you got the plug that plugs into this right here. This end plugs into the power station. And this end goes into your receptacle in your house to plug it in. And it also has to where you can plug this into the power station and plug this into your cigarette lighter in your vehicle and charge this as you travel. And another nice feature is, is that it comes with this additional adapter where you plug this into the power station and this end plugs into a solar panel so you can charge this out in full sun via a solar panel. Now we will look at the power station itself. Set this out of the way. Take the foam off, and we'll get this bag off, and there is the unit itself right there. It does have a built-in flashlight. It also has a built-in work light here on the back. It also has a cooling fan here on the side, and it also has this design right here on top with a nice handle to carry it. And there is all your different ports. Right here is for a cigarette lighter adapter. It has all the USB-C ports uh, for charging cell phones and anything that runs on that, as well as your standard USB. It also has your AC outlet here for power. And it's got the switch here for the light. And this unit comes at about 60% charge, so you do have to plug it in and charge it the rest of the way at 100%. And I've already done that. So as you can see, that's how the screen lights up right there. And then as you turn on each individual uh, area that you're going to need to have power to, it will show here on the screen just how many watts that it is putting out for each thing that you use. So turn this on, and then that shows up over here. So on this LED screen, it shows you what part of this unit that you're generating. So here on the side of the box, it has the general specifications. And you can pause this video if you want to read all this because all the information that's on the box is also in the owner's manual. But I will show you here everything that it says. And you can just back the video up if you need to go over this information again. And then right here it shows what it powers. So again, you can pause the video and look at what it powers. But this thing generates power for multiple different devices so this generator is really nice to have on hand for at home for when the power goes out or if you like to do car camping or if you want to take it on vacation as you travel so you have power on the go. This is a perfect device to take with you just about anywhere that you need power. Right here is what it also says on the box. It tells you how long it takes to charge it depending on which method you're using whether it be your vehicle at home or with solar. That it supports the USB quick charging. It has two USB PD ports and two USB A ports. So you guys, this device is really, really nice. And like I said, this is something I believe everybody should have in their home or in their apartment and something that you should have at the ready should you ever need any kind of power to generate different devices because uh, you just never know when you're gonna need power on the go. And boy, this unit is really nice, you guys. 
It's got nice rubber feet on it, so it will not slide on a smooth surface. It stays put wherever you set it. Really, really nice. So as you guys can see here on the front, you got a button here for the light, and that is what turns on this work light here on the back. And then on the other side, you got this SOS button, which turns on the light right here that's on the side of the unit. So when you press it, it stays on. And when you press it again, it's rapid flash. Press it again, and it's SOS. And then again, is off. And it's the same thing with uh, the light on the back. So we'll turn this around, press it once, and it's a continuous light. Press it again, and it's rapid flash. Press it again, and it's more of like an SOS. So both lights do the same thing. So depending on what type of light you need, if you need a, a larger, brighter light, you use the back one. And if you need more of like a flashlight, you can use the light right here off of the side. Now, unfortunately, you guys, all the devices that it lists on this unit that it says that it will run and operate, I do not have any of them to test this unit itself. But I'm sure that everything that it states that it will run, it will do the job. So uh, this is something that I recommend everyone have on hand because, like I said, you just never know in an emergency when you may need to take power on the go. So if you guys are interested in this product and would like to check it out, I will leave the link down below in the description. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.